Hello. Hi, Oscar. Hi, Cynthia. Good evening. Hello, Carolina. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Mm, I am fine. Very good. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Teacher. Yes. Eh, le quería preguntar. ¿Y para inscribirnos en el otro módulo? Eh, creo que les van a mandar información en el, en el grupo de, de WhatsApp. Uh -huh. Ahí creo que les van a, a decir cómo se van a inscribir al, al, al curso Beginners 2. Mm, okay. mm -hmm. Thank you. Sure. Y, y le quería preguntar, ¿cómo se dice? Mm, ay, se me fue la pregunta. Pero cuando me acuerden, le digo. Ok, that's fine. <laughs> Teacher, ya me acordé. Ajá. ¿Cómo se dice árbol y cómo se pronuncia? Árbol y cómo se dice tres. Ok. Árbol es tree. 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 Y tres es three. Three. Ajá. With TH. Eh, three se escribe TH. Entonces la TH se pronuncia con la, con la lengua, la punta de la lengua, en los dientes de arriba. Entonces es como un sonido de, 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 de serpiente, así como... De three. Three. Ajá, three. Y, y árbol es three. 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 Three, así como T-R-I, three. Ah, ya. Yeah. Uh -huh. Thank you, teacher. Sure. Anytime. All right, so I think we're going to start uh, with, the, with the class. I think Oscar, I don't know, Oscar, are you there? No, I think he's not there. And I know Cynthia's just listening because she's sick. So, uh, Carolina, do you remember the class from yesterday? Do you remember the class from yesterday? ¿Se acuerda de la clase de ayer? Um, sí, sí, quedamos en, en una conversación. Okay. Que completar. Exactly. And what was the topic? ¿De qué era el tema que estábamos hablando ayer? De el verbo to be en forma negativa. Okay. Eh, de hecho, era sí, el, pre el presente no, no, no. continuo. Ajá. Ah, ajá, ajá. Uh -huh. En el presente continuo, de forma contractada y forma la normal, digamos. Uh -huh. And what else? ¿Qué más? Mm. Y estuvimos practicando con la conjunción. Bueno, y de ahí nos mencionó de la conjunción. But y an. Ajá. ¿Qué significaba y... but? Espero. Exactly. Pero como para hacer más larga la conversación. Exactly. Antes y como para agregar algo más, pero, pero mm -hmm. corto. Exactly. Puede ser algo corto o algo largo. No hay ningún problema. Um, y estuvimos platicando ahí con, con una conversación que nos puso usted y de ahí nos puso un ejercicio. Exactly. Very good. And did you, did you do that conversation? Is this a conversation? Sí, sí. Okay. Pero no sé si, si está bien, pero sí la hice. Okay. If you want, we can check it out. ¿Cómo me dio? Si quiere, lo revisamos. Ah, bye. Mm -hmm. Este... Sería, 
Are you going to birthday? Okay. Are you going to a birthday? A birthday de quién? Mm, birthday. No le puse de quién. Solo así birthday. Ok. Eh, Agréguele ahorita un nombre. Cualquiera. David. Mm -hmm. Vaya. Birde Marto. Who? Eh, are you going to Birde Marto? Ok. Mardo. Eh, en ese caso sería Mardo's birthday. Se recuerda que vimos hace unos días de los posesivos que si se le agrega un apóstrofo y una S ya se vuelve posesiva la palabra que está a la par. Entonces sería Mardo's birthday para decir el cumpleaños de Mardo. Uh, mm -hmm. Are you going to Mardo's birthday? Exactly. Very good. Uh -huh. And next? Uh, no, de ahí, no, no, I, I am not going no, no, quiero ver. Mm -hmm. No, I am not going no. Now. But, now. Mm -hmm. uh, but I am going later. Later. I am going later. Uh -huh. Y why I am going now? Let's go together. Uh -huh. I have to work. Very good. I am leaving. Uh -huh. Living. Living. I am leaving after I okay. I wish okay. you I wish see you there. Okay. I am leaving after I Yo me voy a ir después de trabajar. Ajá. So I'm leaving. I am leaving after I finish to work. Finish to work. Mm -hmm. I okay. I will see you there. Así. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Very good. <laughs> Excellent. Great. Good job, Carolina. Thank you, teacher. Sure. So, good evening, everybody. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you? Good evening. Good evening. Everything's good? Yes. A little bit. Really? <laughs> what happened, Oscar? Your daily routine very stressful. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. But Cheers. thank you. Yes. Fíjate que estaba hablando con Jorge temprano y estábamos viendo unas unas incongruencias menos complicadas en la plataforma, en unos audios que mandan y uno por más que trata de poner la palabra que es, no le deja pasar. Uno de sus audios que una señora es anda comprando, robando, no sé qué cosa está haciendo, pero le pone todo la vida por haber en el buen salvadoreño y no deja pasar. Es correcto. O sea, no deja pasar la, el, el ejercicio. Sí, no le da el checkpoint, no se lo da correcto. ¿Y será que tal vez habrá algún espacio en, el, en la respuesta? O... Porque... No, fíjese que básicamente solo le pone a escuchar el audio y le pregunta y le está diciendo en, la, en cierta que está haciendo, que está haciendo, que está haciendo. Al final del, del último uh -huh. audio se escucha que ella está comprando, que es lo más lógico que le puede poner. Y uno le pone que está shopping nada que ver y no, no agarra la respuesta no, no la agarra, bueno yo así la dejé pues y entendería que Jorge también la dejó así pues. déjeme ver al final y ah, qué número de ejercicio es por eso sí está ya el final <risa> teacher, ya el final ya para terminar ver si de la sección 5 estamos hablando de que es el 1, 2, 3 4 Section five. No, 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 that's fine. That's fine. So we can check it out here. Y vemos que. Que es el. Uno, dos, three, four, five. Es a fine point. No, no creo que sea. Es el five, five point four. 
bueno, no lo tengo abierto ahorita, pero es un audio que ponen a sonar que el, uno está jugando tenis, el otro está en la, en la bicicleta, etcétera, etcétera. Ahí se está mostrando. Este, Jorge. Let me see. This is Cynthia. I told you that I, I want to be <laughs> talking, but sure. uh, it's true uh, what, what Oscar says. Uh, I have problems to, to advance. Sí. Cintia me ha dejado abandonado, teacher. Como es todo malo. I am sick. I have been sick. And I have, I, I have problems with cell phone too. No, don't worry. Yo quiero. Ok. Right. Thank you, Cintia. So, let's see. Creo que es el, uh, el 5.7, ¿verdad? It's um, 5.13. 5.13. Yes. 5.13. Okay. So it says. Yo no lo la plataforma ahorita porque a veces por la plataforma se pone muy unestable la conexión. In one of uh, of those uh, questions, uh, the other sounds like a snake. And I don't know what what she's doing. <laughs> she is very <laughs> complicated. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So if you want, uh, so we can start doing this. Uh, let's do this together, so we can uh, check if we can uh, get the answers here. Yes, because I have problems with four, six, and eight. And in the in eight, I I pull uh, buying, but wasn't correct. Okay. Let me see. Vamos a ver aquí que, how we can do this. You don't worry que de que le va a salir correcto, le va a salir correcto. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so let me get this here. Y eso por no mencionarle ya que es el final donde está la estructura del, del from. Mm. <laughs> But it's true, one of them sounds like a snake. Listen, it. I thought it's the six, I don't know. ¿Y cuáles son las, las, las preguntas que más han tenido problemas? No, con esa, con esa del audio y la del final, que es una conversación de si los parientes son no sé de dónde, no sé de dónde. Acomodar la segunda, eso me costó un problema porque el orden lógico se lo puse, pero de ahí nada que ver, nada que ver, hasta que lo pasé donde no debía, pero ahí me salió correcto. Ok. Let me see here, ya casi me carga este lado. Quizás quieren que le pongamos es Landy. <laughs> Let me see. <laughs> okay. Porque se supone que on this one, I mean, many of the answers, either just the verb in, in ING o la, la oración completa tendría que, que aplicar. So let me. So if you want, we can go ahead and listen the audio right now and check exactly what's going on. So let me just. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, so. Okay. This is the one, right? Yep. It says, okay. So, vamos a ver si podemos escuchar el audio. Answer questions about each sound. One. Answer questions about each sound. One. Okay. 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 Okay.
That one is driving. Two. Three. Let me put a pause. I don't know why. Para ir viendo uno por uno. Ah, okay. Coach. Yes. Yo lo que hice en su momento fue darle como abrir en nueva ventana. A veces así es como que la habilita el sistema. Ah, okay. Va, mm -hmm. ahorita ya lo ya lo puse aquí. Thank you. Uh, okay. Let me welcome. check here. So, vale, le voy a compartir entonces esta ventana de acá, que de hecho no. Bueno, de, let me know if you can hear it. Lo pueden escuchar. Answer questions about each sound. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay, cool. Yes. Yeah. Vale, entonces aquí se le puedo poner pausa. So, let's see the first one. One. But, so that one was driving. Driving. <laughs> no, did you? She had run over everyone. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so la, the first one should be driving. So puede, yeah. podría ser driving, or she's driving, or she is driving. Según lo que veo acá, todas esas son respuestas correctas. If you drive, uh, driving, that's it. Uh -huh. Yes, yes, it's just a word. Okay. A word, no, 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 they are not sentences. O sea, se supone que cualquiera de todas esas respuestas sería la correcta. Ya sea driving, o yeah. she's driving, o she is driving. Tendría que tomar correcta cualquiera de todas esas que ponen. Mm, uh, no, I want trying, but... Um, with, with sentence. Ajá, uh ajá, -huh, correcto. I want trying with... Uh, she's driving and does not... Nothing. Um, Vamos a ver si pasa I, que le puse I, solo una palabra. I have the uh, that one correct. It's driving. Okay. Just Vamos driving. A... Vamos a check it out. De ahí, the second one, the second sound. Two. So what she's doing? Swimming. Swimming. Okay, swimming. swimming. So let's see, swimming. Teacher, I don't remember what I put there. I just put the word like swimming, nada más. Okay. Swimming. Y me las... Yeah, tendría que aceptárselas. Se, según veo las respuestas, son puede ser ya sea la palabra o la la, la sentence completa. Pero eso quiero yeah. probar con esta. In my case, just write only the word, teacher. Mm -hmm. Sí, es que tiene, tiene las diferentes opciones que podrían, que podrían ser correctas. Entonces, pero quiero probar aquí esta primero, a ver si it, it works. Let's see number three. Three. So what is she doing in that one? Eating. 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 Okay. I'm sorry. Eating your food. Okay, eating. The next one, number four, I think it is. Four. Mm. No. I thought that was the audio. <laughs> Pensé que era el audio. <laughs> 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 okay. 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 No hay nada. O se paró. My God. 
maybe uh, there are problems with the connection. I don't know what happened. I'm gonna load it again. The girl ran away. About each sound. Por aquí creo que iba. Four. <coughs> ah, no sé. Next Wednesday night. Oh. I don't know what I do. What was number four? Oh my god. I forgot too. <laughs> they, they are playing a lot of uh, instruments. I don't know. <laughs> watching TV. <laughs> okay. Watching TV. Pero de <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Let's hear number five. Five. <laughs> so dancing. Okay. <laughs> dancing. Vamos a ver. Yo por aquí tengo la respuesta, así que, pero just wanna see if you can. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see number six. Six. The snake. There is the snake. <laughs> um, no. <laughs> oh. I got confused with that. So number six. Riding a bike. Okay. Yeah. Ride a bike. Ride in. Ride in. Okay. Bike. Riding a bike. Oh, right, the next one, number seven. Seven. That sounds like shots. <laughs> Playing what? tennis. Okay. Playing tennis. Teacher, I, I ride she to slap. She's slapping. <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay. Yes, <laughs> Dándole con todo, eh. All right, let's, let's hear the eight. She's buying. So what she's doing there? Shopping. She's what? Uh, she's shopping. Shopping? shopping? Yeah. Or buying. Uh, I think or buying that... or paying. Buying or... why? Uh, you no, know that... something. This, this is a hint. That... You know what is a hint? Hint? A clue? Una pista. This is an old thing. This is an audio viejo. It's an old audio. So she's doing something in things that they exist, but we do not longer use. Son cosas que existen, pero que ya no usamos. The phone? No. Marking the number, the phone? No. This, the no. old, old, old phone. <laughs> You hear the last, the last, the la like the last sound, it makes like a bell. Ping. A register machine, machine? Kind of. Something like that? Yeah, it's similar. Counting money. No. This is what they're, what she's doing. Typing? Exactly. Dang. But as I said, it's something old. It's una máquina de escribir. Dang. So that's why when at the end it sounds like a bell ping. Vamos a ver si lo tenemos bien. All right, we did it. Yeah. All right. So you see here in esto, eh, probablemente el problema que pudo haber tenido es de que estaba sin punto. Si lo ponemos sin punto. No, still. Siempre sale igual. It's correct. It's correct. So she's driving or driving. Era correcto. Otra cosa también, el, cuando le toquen hacer preguntas, cuando le pongan los question marks, no se los vayan a poner separados. Porque yeah. le va a dar error. Exactly. Make sure that there's no spaces. Uh, if you can put a point as well. Eh, esto también, el apostrofe, eh, si no pueden poner el apostrofe con su teléfono o con la, con la compu, mejor pongan es, para que no les dé problema. All right. Yes. Coach, 
Por eso es que me sale, por eso me sale la mitad el, el diploma, fíjese. <risa> yes or no? Este, fíjese que, el, vaya, se, a mí me pasó lo mismo, de verdad, que me daba error, pero después volvía a lo mismo, siempre caía en lo mismo, como que no lo evaluaba, sino que tomaba la evaluación primera o la calificación. Mm, bueno, mm -hmm. y en ese caso creo que sí habría que, que notificarlo con Karen, creo que se llama la, la mm. eh, quien está de administración en el grupo. No contesta. Ajá. Y le, le, le han escrito ahí directo. Yo en... por, por, por mi parte no... Eh, digamos, este, he notificado esa parte, ¿verdad? Pero igual, cuando se me dé nuevamente, inmediatamente le estaría notificando. Ajá, escríbanle directamente a ella, eh, uh -huh. en el número que dio ahí, para explicarle what's the issue, y que ella les puede ayudar a resolver. Uh -huh. Very good. So, we did it. <laughs> Any questions with this? No. Buenas noches. No. No, no. Yo, right. yo no tengo preguntas. Lo que hice fue una sugerencia que deberían de revisar pues la, la plataforma en lo que llenó cada uno, porque pues sí, yo también después de tanto intentarlo descubrí eso, que la, el signo de interrogación debería de ir pegado a la palabra para que lo tomara bien, pero igual no es correcto. O sea, yo en, en, en mi en mi caligrafía y ortografía sé que no va unido, o sea, porque el símbolo no es parte de la palabra, sino que solo es para expresar una pregunta, pero jamás es parte de la palabra, porque si lo ponemos unido se convierte en parte de la palabra, en una sola, en una palabra sola. Entonces, pues en, en, en honor a mejorar la, la calidad del curso y que quizás muchas personas no que no se han unido a esta clase o lo van a ver o, o no van a tener tiempo de verlo, pues se van a quedar con eso de que, de que la plataforma no se los va a tomar, pero pues este debería de ser un curso como cualquier otro, de que los encargados de la evaluación tienen que revisar el, el, el formato que cada uno ha llenado, no atenerse solo a, a las barras de progreso de, de cada estudiante. Pienso, ¿no? Pues es mi sugerencia. Sí, sí, lo que pasa es que a veces de alguna manera siempre toman, toman de referencia siempre de algún modo como lo hacen los, los americanos, porque es como que uno le ponga las mayúsculas. Si no le pone los mayúsculos donde va, tampoco lo deja pasar. Y eso es algo que ya pues no lo vamos a comparar con el español, obviamente, porque nada que ver. Sí, en ese caso... Me imagino yo que pues las respuestas, de hecho, como les mencionaba, hay diferentes respuestas que han sido programadas para que sean tomadas dentro de, la, de las respuestas, como tanto aquí podía ser She's Driving como Solo Driving. Eh, de hecho, se ha tomado como, han puesto diferentes tipos de respuestas para que puedan, para que cualquiera sí, pueda make sense. Entonces. Yo, yo como soy curioso, yo lo puse contractado y sin contractar. Y sin contractar, no la toma tampoco. Entonces, sí le es una persona que, que, que Solo, deberían de probar como, antes de liberarlo a los alumnos, pues, probar todas las posibilidades. Así no le funcionó. She's driving. Sí, en algunos, she's driving no me funcionó. No en este formato, en esta, específicamente en este punto, pero sí en unos puntos, en otras, en otras secciones no funciona como supuestamente dice las posibles respuestas que, que todas las posibilidades en que nosotros podíamos responder no necesariamente fue así. Okay. Sí, eh, de hecho también esa es parte de, la, de las, de, creo que eso les mencionó también eh, Karen en el, en, el, en el chat, donde podrían ahí también dar ese tipo de sugerencias para que este tipo de, de cosas pues se puedan mejorar y se puedan verificar. No, yo... Yo se las hice, pues, y, y, y okay. pues esperaría que, que tomaran cartas en el asunto para que a futuros estudiantes, pues, no se les haga tan, tan complejo el poder responder, porque el punto es lo que yo le... Porque ella me envió la respuesta correcta, y le digo, pero es que no es el punto que me envíes la respuesta correcta, el punto es que se corrija, porque no me vas a estar enviando las respuestas correctas cada vez que yo esté reportando una falla. 
¿verdad? El asunto es que yo lo intente resolver por mi propia cuenta y, y por cada uno, cada uno por su cuenta, porque, pues sí, no tiene chiste que me estén soplando la respuesta, pues. Sí. ¿Verdad? Sí, y totalmente. Pues, esa fue mi recomendación y ojalá que, pues, lo puedan corregir para, sí, para ir te... mejorando la calidad del curso. Sí, porque sí. a mí te quieren en el último momento, ya cuando le comentaba la estructura de el We Are You From y todo eso, los parientes y todo eso, ahí fue el único momento donde me contestó, porque me costó ordenarla, y el orden lógico se lo mandé, inclusive ella me dijo sí, así es, pero ¿por qué me está dando error? Le digo, ya me dan ganas hasta de ponerle que son inmigrantes los parientes de esta, tal vez aquí, le digo, porque no me da, le digo yo y sí. después cuando se pidió oh, no tiene nada que ver esa estructura de hecho, ella me dijo Sí, de hecho creo que cada cosa que, pues, que ustedes les mencionan, me imagino que ellos tienen algún tipo de, no sé, como de banco de sugerencias, donde van, donde van haciendo las, las diferentes tipos de, de updates o diferentes tipos de, de mejoras que van a ir haciendo a la, a la página y pues me imagino. Me que sucedió lo mismo que al compañero, porque yo puse la respuesta correcta y como no me la tomaba, como él dice, empecé a inventar pues hasta salirme del contexto de la, de la pregunta, porque queriendo, queriendo hacer válido el punto, pues, sí. pero sí, sí, pero bueno, creo de que ya, sí, ya eh, nos retrasamos bastante pa, <risa> okay. Sí, totalmente les entiendo y como les menciono, pues menciónenlo siempre ahí con, con las personas encargadas de administración para que ellos puedan tomar ahí las cartas en el asunto así que en cualquier cosa que yo les pueda ayudar, pues al do it pero con respecto a la a las mejoras de eso, sí tiene que ser directamente con ellos sí, porque así en, la que, en la evaluación, teacher lo siento, pero le puse mal. No, son bromas. Hey. No, no, that's fine. I mean, no, no, no. Every feedback is good. No. Pero, pero yes, eh, ahí pueden eh, notificar con ellas y pues they will take care of that. So, thank you very much for that feedback. Everything helps to, to make it better. So, that's what we want. So, we will continue then with the present continue. Ya hicimos una pequeña práctica, so let's continue practicing. Now, what we are going to do is this. We're going to make our own questions. Remember that the last class yesterday we saw about uh, is, am, and are, I'm sorry, and the just no questions with, uh, with the present continues. And that's what we are doing right now. Vamos a hacer just no questions with present continues. We're going to make one, two, three, four, five questions. And these five questions, we are going to make a survey. You know what is a survey? ¿Saben qué es una survey? No. Nope. Survey es una encuesta. So these five questions are going to be your survey. Estas cinco preguntas van a ser su encuesta. And once you finished, uh, we're going to make groups and you're going to ask the questions to your partners uh, and you're going to get the, the answers. Van a hacer estas cinco preguntas a sus compañeros cuando los pongo en grupo uh, and you have to give an answer either with yes or no, a short answer or a long answer. Okay? So let's make the sentence, the questions. Uh, I'll give you uh, three minutes so you can complete it. Okay? So let's go.
Okay, one more minute. All right, so we're gonna make the groups right now. So you can ask the questions, ask the five questions to your partners and write the answers, okay? And also write the name. Escriban el nombre a quien le preguntaron y la respuesta que dio, right? Try to make uh, long answers, traten de dar uh, respuestas uh, largas y también utilizar conjunctions. Si pueden utilizar dos o tres sentences, en sus respuestas utilizando and and but that would be good all right so uh, teacher please uh, give an example uh, i didn't understand your uh, recommendation for this exercise okay sure so the questions that you have to make for example it could be the first one um are you attending a meeting tomorrow okay. And then you can answer, um, mm -hmm. yes, uh, I, am meet, I am attending the meeting tomorrow and I am um, going to the, the boss office too. Something like okay. that. Okay, mm -hmm. thank you. Sure. All right, so let me make the groups here and here we go. All right, so join to the groups. Uh, David, were you able to get into the groups? David, se pudo conectar al grupo. Okay. Okay. Hey, George. Come on. Are you are you attending a meeting tomorrow? Yes, I I have a meeting with uh, mm, a new how do you say teacher um provedor supplier. Okay. Yeah. Um. Uh, next time. Uh, yes, I'm. I'm attending a meeting. No. Uh, yes. yes, I. You can yes, say that. I. I am attending. Or I'm attending. I am a meeting. attending a meeting tomorrow uh, with uh, a new supplier. 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 Hmm? Good. Sorry. Excellent. No, that's fine. <laughs> Okay. And are you leaving at six o'clock? Um. No. Uh, I'm leaving at uh, uh, nine, maybe nine o'clock. Nine a.m. Nine a.m. Nine a.m. Are you sleeping? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not. Good. 
Ali or George? <laughs> no, this one not. This one not. <laughs> okay. Are you making too much tonight? Um, no, I don't make in a. Um, I'm, I'm not. Oh, uh, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. I um, speak. Uh, uh, ¿Cómo se dice bajo? Low. Oh, can... Low. Mm -hmm. Low noise. Oh. Are you so quiet? <laughs> and finally, are you playing with with your song in the park now? No, I'm not. But um, the Sunday. Um, but on Sunday? Oh no, the Sunday um, before. Oh, the on past Sunday. Sunday. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Okay. Uh, no, I'm not. But uh, the past Sunday, um, I'm playing with my son in the park. Okay. I was playing okay. in that case mm -hmm. because it's best. Uh -huh. Good. Excellent. Great. Good job. So I keep asking the question. Right. <laughs> <laughs> no, good job. Great. Okay. Next. <laughs> <laughs> Oscar, vamos a ver. Uh -huh. yes. yes, I am. Yeah. No, I yes. am not. Correct. It's correct. Okay. Or... Hi, mm. teacher. Hello. Excuse me. <laughs> Perdón no por la tardanza. <laughs> no, no worries. I saw, I saw your message, so no worries. No okay. worries. Vamos aquí. The answer is mm, yes, I am attending a meeting tomorrow. Okay. Teacher is yes. attending a meeting. Yep. Or attend a meeting. Attending. Attending, yes. Uh huh. Because attending you're answering. Meeting. Yes, because you're answering in ING. So the question is Are you attending a meeting tomorrow? And you can say, Yes, I'm attending a meeting tomorrow. Aunque se lleve los dos verbos ING. ¿Cuál de los dos verbos ING? Eh, meeting. Ah, no, meeting it's not a verb there. Ah, es palabra. Meeting ahí es un sujeto, es la reunión. Ah, uh -huh. no sé, ah pues yeah. sorry. Ajá. Uh -huh. No, no worries, no worries. Yes, okay. yeah. thanks. Sure. Okay. But la siguiente cuál sería? Um, I am leaving at six o'clock. One more time. Um, I, am I? Am I? Uh -huh. Am I leaving at six o'clock? Yes, I am leaving at six o'clock. Mm, but in that question. Si yo digo, por ejemplo, am I leaving at six o'clock? Si yo le pregunto a, a, a Kenny, am I leaving at six o'clock? ¿Cuál sería la respuesta? Yes, I am. Yes. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Exactly. Yes, you are. Ah, yes, you are. Ajá, yes. porque me estoy preguntando para Sorry. mí. Ajá. Ajá. Yes, you are. You, yes, you are leaving at six o'clock. Exactly. Very good. La tres, am I sleeping in this moment? Está bien así. Yep. Am I sleeping at this moment? Are you? Mm. No, I am not sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> ¿Verdad? <laughs> oh, but that's good. That's correct. Yeah, that's correct. <laughs> no, she is studying English. In this moment. So in that case, mm. tendría que ser no, she isn't. Punto. Um, she is studying no, English. She, no, she isn't studying English. No, no, she isn't. No, no, she isn't. Ah, y luego, she is. 
No, she isn't sleeping. No, solo sería no, she isn't. No, she isn't. Oh. Y luego, she is studying English. Uh -huh. No, she isn't. Mm -hmm. She is studying English. Very good. Excellent. And working. And working too, oh. yeah. She's working too. Yes, yes. So then it's where you can use the N. Ahí podemos utilizar el join. No, she is. Ah, okay. She is studying English <laughs> and she is working. Mm -hmm. She is working. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Qué bueno que no estaba aquí, Oscar, oh, in, in the meeting, <laughs> to invite you to, to sleep again. <laughs> Uh -huh. Like yesterday. <laughs> that was so funny. So funny. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. So. Como bien serio, yeah. La reñé, So good job. Great questions. Keep practicing. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Sí. No, okay. We're gonna we're gonna uh, return, okay? Hey. And then, okay. No, not yet. <laughs> no, uh, it has been something difficult because Carolina don't uh, finish it. Oh, she didn't exercise. finish. It. No, they don't. She okay. she doesn't. Okay, but we can do it right now. So Carolina. ¿Tiene alguna de las preguntas ya hechas? Carolina. Hola, son los dos, he terminado. Ok, so let's make those two. Hay que hacer esas dos. Eh, vaya. Mm, Marta, ¿tienes un meeting tomorrow? One more time. Uh, yes. I am attending a meeting tomorrow, but I have to be at the office later. Very good. Mm -hmm. Can you make the question again, Carolina? Voy a hacer la pregunta de nuevo. Sí. Marta attending a meeting tomorrow. No, en ese caso tendría que ser, recuerde que primero para hacer la pregunta va primero el verbo to be, así como está aparece. Exactly. Is Marta attending a meeting tomorrow? Porque primero va el verbo to be, luego va el sujeto, que sería Marta, luego el verbo en ing y por último el complemento. Is Marta attending a meeting tomorrow? Very good. Oh, yes, I am attending a meeting tomorrow, but I have to be at the office later. Good. Excellent. Are you sleeping? Very good. Uh, yes, I am sleeping right now, but I have to <laughs> wake up because I have to go to the office. <laughs> it's an right. Only it's an example. <laughs> <laughs> sleeping right now. All right. It's only All right. an example. That's why you turn off the computer, the, the, the camera, right? Okay. The camera. Um, sorry, sorry. Oh, yeah. <laughs> because you're sleeping now. No. no. <laughs> Here I am. Hello. All right. Yeah. I know. All right. Okay. okay. I'm not sleeping now, but I have to wake up because I have to go to the office. It's very, very late. I'm getting late. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> good. Next question, Carolina. Mm, are you... Are you making too much noise? Too. Are you making too much noise? Mm. Yes, they are. Uh, they are making too much noise, but they are to be quiet just later because the baby is going to sleep soon. Okay. But she asked you, are you? Oh, oh I did it in plural. Okay. <laughs> So, no, Carolina, I'm, not, make, I, I'm make, not making noise. I'm okay. not making too much, too much noise. All right. I have to, to sleep with my baby, but I don't know. I don't have any baby, okay? okay. Este, <laughs> I have uh, to sleep with my baby. Okay. 
Very good. All right, Carly, the next question. Mm -hmm. She is playing. She is playing. No. With. Recuerda que primero va el verbo to be. Mm. Uy, esto no, no le he hecho. Hagámoslo ahorita, démoslo ahorita. ¿Cuál es, ¿Cuál es el verbo to be? El verbo to be son los, los tres primeros tres que aparecían en la imagen. Is, am y are. Entonces, uno de esos tiene que ir primero. He's. Ok, he's is. Play, uh, mm. Is playing. With... Luego, luego del is, tiene que ir un sujeto. ¿Cuáles sujetos utilizamos con is? Is, he is, no. Ok, puede ser he. He o she. Ajá, es he, she o it. Entonces sería okay. is, luego. Is she. Ok. Mm -hmm. So is in she? the no. Is, is she playing is with... Playing with. Ya me confundí. Así va bien. Así va bien. Is she. Is she playing mm -hmm. with her son? With his son in her. the market. Her porque es para ella. Um, play with. Her. Mm, yeah. Playing yeah. with. Her part, no. Very good. Yes, she is playing in the park with her son. Excellent. Good. Great. Good job. Very Thank good. You. Great. All I right, have so, to study more. <laughs> yeah. We need to practice more, actually. That's what yes, we need. We need to yes. practice more because you know how to make it. Saben cómo hacerlas, but you need to practice. As much as you practice, the easiest is going to be for you. I really like the English usage. The grammar is very interesting. It is. It is. But Actually, we have to know grammar in, in, in Spanish. We have to know the grammar in our language first. It's complicated. I mean, yes, in yes. Spanish, it's much complicated. I think that it is more complicated in Spanish than in English. It is. Definitely, it is. Yeah. Because here in... in uh, in English, I think, and I'm not pretty sure, but I think we don't have the, the tense, the preterito plus Juan perfecto. Oh, my uh, God. <laughs> that's something in Spanish that I don't even know. Yes. Me sé el nombre, pero no sé qué, qué es. But I think that's very interesting when we use the auxiliary verbs. Yeah. Uh, because that is the really grammar in English. Yeah, exactly. That's, it's very that's basically... It is. Yes, I mean, as exactly. long as you use them, uh, it's going to be easier. But the thing is, once you know the structure, una vez sabe la estructura, yes, then it's just yes, to yes. practice. For example, yes. like this question. So, sabe la estructura? Make questions. Answer oh. them. Make questions. Answer them. Y mientras más preguntas haga, pues, it's going to be easier. Sí, yes, yes. I think that the, the past tense are more difficult. Yeah, the past tense. It's is easy. The present and the future for me is more easy. It's but easier. The past tense. Oh my God! I, yeah. We have to be. Cuidadosos. Uh, how do you say cuidadosos? Carefully. Okay. Oh yes, we have to be carefully when we are form the sentences. We are. Yeah. In past, definitely. In past time. Be, uh, for me, is more difficult. Yeah, it's it's more difficult either a simple past and as well the present perfect. The present perfect is another one that it's a little bit complicated to to understand yes. Yes, how to really. use it. But don't worry, you will make it, you will get it. And <laughs> English is just about practice. English yes. is about to speak. As long as you speak, you're good. We have to talk and talk and exactly. talk. Exactly, yes. Listen music, um, Listen reading. To movies, and podcasts. Watch TV in English. Yeah. This all the time. That's what's going to make you the, the English very easy for you. <laughs> so, you. very good. So, let's go back to the main room. We're almost finished with the, with the class. So, let's go back to the main section, all right? Okay.
I'm sorry, I was speaking mute. Uh, <laughs> so very good. Uh, was pretty nice to see you there talking, uh, making the questions and answer them, and not just giving a short answer, but providing a long answer using conjunctions. That was great. Super bien verlos ahí eh, contestando las preguntas no de una manera solo corta sino que también dando más información utilizando conjunctions like and and but to provide information. That's great. Remember that English, it's about practice. Grammar is just for you can know how to write things and how the structures goes. However, if you want to master English, you need to speak. That's the only thing. Uh, if you speak, speak and speak, then suddenly you're going to be speaking. That's how babies learn to speak Spanish. They start speaking. They don't know what they're saying. No saben lo que están diciendo. They just like bubble. Uh, but at the end, terminamos aprendiendo y aquí estamos hablando. So the same is with English. Uh, at the beginning, we don't understand. Al principio no entendemos like too much. But as long as we're speaking and we're speaking and we're speaking, we're going to get it. Vamos a llegar al punto en que we're going to speak English as we speak Spanish. So it's so easy. All right. So uh, any questions so far when regards to the present continuous? How is it used? The yes, no questions? Any questions so far? No? Nope. All right. No. Very good. Okay. So we're about to finish. We just have like three minutes. So I'm just going to show you uh, how we can make questions with the WH questions. And we are going to practice and do many other stuff tomorrow. I'm going to explain it tomorrow again. Um, so we can practice it because I, I have many activities with the WH questions. So WH question, just for you to give you a refresher, solo para darles un recordatorio ahí. WH questions are the ones that we use to make open questions. Las WH questions son las que utilizamos para hacer una pregunta abierta. Eh, just want to confirm something. ¿Ven mejor ustedes la pantalla así como está ahorita la presentación, así como se ve, o así? En pantalla completa. Both. Both, you, okay. All right, good. So the WH questions, uh, basically it's that. Uh, it's a question that we use to get more information. Para obtener más información acerca de is something that we need to know, or we want to know. So in this case, uh, with the WH question, with the present continuous, uh, this is the structure that we're gonna use, uh, WH questions. Then the verb be, then the subject, then the verb with ing, finally the complement. Okay. Um, so the question will be why am I eating chocolate? What are you studying now? When is he working? And what is she doing? So all of the questions goes with the present continuous, and it's for ask for more information, okay? The answers here will not be yes or no, sino que van a tener más información al respecto. For example, how would you answer the first question? Why am I eating chocolate? ¿Cómo contestaría la primera pregunta? Because I like the chocolate so much. <laughs> exactly, because I like the chocolate so much. That's correct. What about the second one? What are you studying now? Because I have to learn more English. Okay. It is important. <laughs> but in this case, is what? What are you studying now? What is the answer in this? English. Okay. So, I am. Or I am, am studying English Excellent. now. Exactly. I am studying English in English. In order, in order to apply to get better life and a better job, better job. That's it. Excellent. Very good. When is he working? 
Or let's make it like this. When is Oscar working? When is Oscar working? Cuando está trabajando Oscar? Oscar. Uh -huh. Okay. Oscar is working now. Is he working now? That is correct. You are, are you working now? Yeah, because suddenly call me. All right. <laughs> so good. <laughs> Very good. And the last one. What is Kenny doing? <laughs> what? She's studying She's, English right now. Exactly. She's studying English right now. Excellent. So that's how we made the questions. We're going to uh, we're going to make a refresher tomorrow as well and um, and make some questions. We're going to practice this tomorrow. So, so far, this is our class for today. Is the class for ahora. Do you have any questions so far? Questions? No. Nope. All right. Very good. So then have a good night. We're going to see you tomorrow and have a good rest. All right. So take care. Thank you. Take You're welcome. Care too. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Take care. Bye. Good night, everybody. Good night, Bye. 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 Bye.